grace to you and peace from God our Father and his Son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Every year at camp, there's um, new things that sort of become a part of the week that have never happened before. They're just new. Um, and this year, there was a catchphrase that really caught on very, very early in the week. And it just happened. <laughs> they're already laughing. <laughs> and it just happened all the time. And it was... There we go. <laughs> See, they all knew exactly what I was talking about. And no matter what we were doing or what was happening next, inevitably someone would interrupt whatever explanation was happening with the phrase, <laughs> and that was how our week went. <laughs> so it would go something like this. Someone would say something like, it's time for orientation and getting to know each other. Um, we're going hiking today in 95 degree weather. It's time for class. Hey, there's jello sucking. We're expecting thunderstorms this evening. Let's build the campfire. Check out Matt's hair. <laughs> it's family group time. There's this gargantuan spider in the girls' bathroom. <laughs> the kitchen made surprise iced coffee for lunch. We're headed to chapel. Let's celebrate our seniors. It's time for warm fuzzies. It's time for Camp Sunday. We spent the week reminding ourselves over and over and over to, ah, uh, they're still with me. <laughs> In our reading today, the people Jesus is talking to are not excited. He even says, it's like, we played this great dancing music, and nobody got up and danced. And so we played this really sad song, and nobody cried. Like, you're just not excited about anything. They didn't get excited about John the Baptist when he came preaching and fasting, and they aren't really excited about Jesus either, because he comes to all the parties and welcomes a bunch of people that they don't want welcomed. There's no excitement in the people, no energy. And that lack of excitement gets connected today with the idea of weariness. Now, coming back from camp on Friday, I think I understood a little bit about weariness. <laughs> How many of our staff left Friday weary? Ah! <laughs> How many of our campers left st Friday weary? Ah, that would be everybody. <laughs> and that's not surprising because we had a great week, and there was lots of excitement, and there was lots of energy, and that can lead to weariness. But today, our reading connects those two things, excitement and weariness. The people listening to Jesus are weary from heavy burdens. They are weary of trying to follow the laws they've been given to the letter. They are weary of the struggles that they face in their lives. They are weary of being oppressed by a foreign government, and so they can't dance they can't cry. They can't get excited about this next teacher that's come along because they are already weary and tired from their burdens. I think we all know the experience of weariness. We become weary of trying to make sense of the world or of trying to make sense of our faith. We become weary of the many responsibilities that we carry. We become weary of the troubles and the burdens we bear. We become weary of the same old, same old. We become weary of trying and failing, weary of anxiety and pain and sorrow, weary of so many things. And it becomes impossible to get excited. We came back from camp physically tired, and, and maybe there was some emotional and mental tiredness in there too. But the reality is that we all, every one of us, come to camp weary in some ways. We come with our burdens, with our struggles, our troubles, our needs. We come with our secrets and our pain. We come to camp weary. And while we're there, 
we have this opportunity to lay those burdens down for a little while, to set them aside for a short time, to discuss them with others that we know care, to build relationships of trust that can lead to advice and support and hope. We learn skills that can help us better shoulder those burdens in the future. We listen to those who have carried similar burdens and what worked or didn't work for them. We hear over and over that we don't have to carry those burdens alone, that Jesus wants to carry those burdens for us. Reality is we come to camp weary. And because of all those things I just talked about, because of the place that camp is, the hope is that we leave excited. We leave refreshed and focused and with our burdens lightened. You might think the way camp works is we go to camp every year excited and we come home weary. The reality is that we come to camp weary and we go home excited and with hope. Today, Jesus says, come to me all you who are weary and who are carrying heavy burdens and I will give you rest. The yoke I will give you is easy and the burden I will put on you is light. Jesus wants to take those heavy burdens, that weary load and help us carry it so that it becomes lighter, easier to handle. Come to me, all you who are weary, and I will give you rest. That rest comes to us in many different ways, depending on what speaks to us. You may find rest in prayer and in solitude. You may find rest in coming here to worship or to a Bible study. You may find your rest through serving other people. You may find your rest through conversation with a good friend. You may find your rest by hiking through the woods or by water, watching water pass along the edges of the dock. Wherever it is that you feel your burdens lightened, wherever you become more aware of God's presence in your life and in your struggles, there you find rest. We have an opportunity today with all of these campers here to hear some of their stories about camp or some of their thoughts and experiences about camp. And so I'm going to invite them to come up here. Come on. Yep, I got the microphone. I didn't forewarn them, but they should know how this works. Most of them have done it before. <laughs> Suddenly, they're not excited. <laughs> All right, I'm going to give it to you so you can think about it for a second here. Um, first, I'm going to ask you two things, okay? First, in one or two words, just one or two words that describe camp for you this year. And then um, think about one thing you learned at camp this year, okay? All right, I know everybody's like, oh, two questions, uh-oh. <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll give you a minute to think about that, and then we'll pass the microphone down and back. Um, oh, I know. When you, when you give us the first one, tell us your name and where you're from, like what town, okay? Just so we get a sense of where. <laughs> I, <laughs> All right, so we're going to do the first one first. It's going to go something like this. I'm Pastor Amber. I live in Glenville. <laughs> And my words to describe camp this year are beyond expectation. So just do that one. I'm gonna, we're going to come back. We're going to do it. Yeah, we're coming back for that one. My name, is, my name is Bethany. I'm from Clifton Park. And my word for camp this year is eye-opening. My name is Josh. Hold it close. There you go. My name is Josh, and I am from Clifton Park. And two words to describe camp would be fun and exciting. <laughs> Uh, I'm Cameron, and I'm from Clifton Park. And two words to um, express camp is um, exciting and 
Would you like to? My name's Christy, and I'm also from Pickens Park. <laughs> and the two words I would use to describe camp is a safe place. Um, my name is Sydney, I'm from Troy, and the two words I would use to describe the camp are love and hope. I'm Jake, and I'm from Troy, and two words to describe camp would be life-changing. I'm Leanna, I'm from Rochester, and the two words I would use to describe camp are so pretty. <laughs> Abby, I'm from East Greenbush, and the word I would use to describe camp is rejuvenating. I'm Jackie, I'm from Clifton Park, and the two words that I would use to describe camp are animal kingdom. Simba! <laughs> <laughs> I'm Dan, I'm from April Park, and I'd have to say life-changing. Uh, I'm Ian, I'm from Saratoga, my mother's Mary Sheldon Price. Um, <laughs> And one word I would use to describe camp is um, awesome. <laughs> awesome. All right. Hold on to the microphone because we're going to go back the other way. Um, as far as something that I learned, I'm going to start so you have another minute there. Um, I learned this year about, um, and it, it, it only has to be like a sentence or two. I had to do this at the first service for all of you, so I made it a little longer. <laughs> um, I learned about uh, trusting God. Um, we, this year has been a year of transition for us um, in many ways, and we had uh, some of our oldest staff is retiring and some of our younger staff is coming on, and so we had a lot of transition, um, and we had some staffing changes, and we had some financial stuff going on, and I was like, what are we going to do with camp? Um, and is it going to happen? And how is it going to happen? And uh, so for me, I learned at camp this year um, – to trust God because God makes sure that the right staff is there and the right campers are there and the right connections get made um, and everything is going to happen just the way it's supposed to because God's in charge and I'm not. That's what I learned this year. All right, Ian, go for it. Um, what I learned was it's not necessarily the size of the camp, um, how many staff or campers are there, but what you actually get out of it and the connections that are made. What I learned at camp was to let go of the past. Uh, what I learned at camp was about relationships and about how it doesn't matter if you see someone once a year or 500 times a year, that the people who mean the most to you are always going to be there. What I learned at camp is how important the relationships that we make there are in my, our lives. What I learned at camp is what it means to support and be supported by your family and friends. What I learned at camp is to trust God more and be with him more and be more respectful of other people. What I learned at camp is to um, have faith in God and that uh, prayer truly is powerful. What I learned at camp was there is so much more to people if you simply take the time to listen. What I learned at, at camp is to trust everyone. What I learned at camp was to be open and just be yourself. What I learned at camp was that God's not dead and our faith always, always, always has room to grow. Thank you guys. You guys can go have a seat. Thank you. They're so good. They would have stayed if I'd asked them to. <laughs> I think two's the limit today. <laughs> We're still recovering. <laughs> Jesus promises us today rest from our burdens and lighter loads to carry. And you've just heard some of the experiences that the campers have had and how their burdens can be have been lifted in different ways. Um, Jesus comes to us offering to carry those burdens for us so that we are free to dance and to move and to be excited. We don't need to be weary anymore. Jesus can teach us to let go of our burdens, find rest, and one more time over there. Thank you. Amen.